What's good, Fight Fans? It's your boy Quick, back again with another video, giving you tonight's recap of um, Gary Russell versus King Tug with most people in that young yard. That was a great fight. Can't take nothing away from Gary. Can't take nothing away from King Tug. I mean, you know, I mean, despite the booze, I mean, uh, it is what it is. But you have, but you have Gary, one of the fastest hands in the game in the sport of boxing. You know, then you have King Tug, tough guy, gritty. You know, he came to fight. But you, but you gotta look at, you gotta look at one thing I liked about um, King Tug. He came forward, he was pressing, and the one thing that stood out for me that I liked that about King Tug, despite you know Gary, Gary's gonna be Gary. Gary's gonna give you, Gary's gonna give you combinations. He's gonna give you hand speed. He's gonna give you great footwork. I mean, good reading general, generalship. He's gonna give you all of that. But the one thing that stood out for me that I saw, which I, I see it in, 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 you know, in most of Gary's fight. Most of most of the fighters, um, some of the fighters don't respect his power, and King Tug didn't respect his power at all. So, I mean, I I saw how he was pressing forward and once he felt him, you know. But I saw some great exchanges that I saw. I mean, and you know, probably you know, round five, round six, you know, there was some there was some good exchanges that I liked that I saw that was pretty that was pretty good for me. But it it was just too much Gary for him. It was just too much Gary, too much experience. I mean, you know, you gotta look at his record. You know, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to discredit his record because you gotta look at, you gotta look at another thing too. You gotta have, I mean, Lomachenko. I mean, I, I hate to throw that in too early in this conversation, but Lomachenko didn't have a, 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 a too good of a record. But you know, he beat, you know, he beat Gary. But I also wanna wanna say. That was that was a great fight. I mean, I'm pretty sure um, if they had to, if they had to do it again, which I'm pretty sure, I mean that that's not gonna happen. But I mean, I'm pretty sure King Tug would probably take a different approach. He probably would be more. He'll press it more. But Gary is just he's just too quick, too fast. I mean, you know, punches and bunches, combination movement. Um, that hand speed was just too much for him. He was being first, and he waited. That's that's one of the things I felt like he was. He was waiting too much for him. I mean, you know, watching boxing, you want to be first. You want to, you know, you want to take chances. But I know he didn't want to open himself up, which that's one of the <laughs> one of the worst things you want to do as a fighter. You don't want to open yourself up. That's one of the worst things you want to do. So, I mean, much respect to him, King Tug. I mean, trust me, he'll be back again. It is what it is. So, you know, on to the next. But then um, now, you know, after that fight, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody saw what he wants. He wants to skip two weight classes. He... Um, and he wants to let go the one, you know, the 126 um, WBC belt, and he wants to move up, but only if he gets that Leo Santa Cruz. If he gets that Leo Santa Cruz, um, you know, that matchup, then you know, hey, that, that may be a good, that may be a good um, setup for him, matchup for him. Which I want to see it, but you know, if if it doesn't make, if it doesn't, you know, the fight doesn't happen, then you know, hey, then he can move up two weight class to go to 135. He's still chasing Tank. And he's also still chasing. He wants that get back with Lomachenko. You know, as any fighter, you always want to get, you know, have an opportunity to have a chance to revenge your loss. So, what you know, my thing is with Gary, with his hands being the way they are, which most people know, you know, he messed his hands up or whatever. Can he can he maintain with some heavy hitters? We got some heavy hitters at 135. I mean, he was he was gonna he was gonna you know. Shout out, shout out to Jojo Diaz also because you know he he beat Tevin Farmer and he became a he became a, a champion. But he was he was willing to you know make make that fight happen because I guess you know Gary is Gary Russell is looking to, to to go at anyone that calls his name. But he's also reaching out to the ones that's not calling his name as well. So I mean, at the end of the day, he's willing to jump two weight classes to, to you know to to go in there and get get some of those big name fighters. Um, Tank Davis, Lomachenko, um, Teofimo Lopez, if if that happens. But I guess I mean you know where it has it that 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 fight with um, Teofimo Lopez and Lomachenko, it's already it's pretty much a done deal. Um, that's a unification bout that we all waiting to see. I mean, I'm ready for that fight myself. But you still you still have Tank. I mean you know he's 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 a title he's a title holder. So you know he 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 might can make that fight happen. But it all depends on these promoters. I mean, I feel like we're starving for great matchups. When are we going to be able to, as a fan, as a as a, a diehard fan, when are we going to be able to get these matchups, get these guys in the ring so we can enjoy, enjoy boxing like we used to back in the day? I mean, the politics is the politics is insane, man. I 
I need to do a video talk about how we used to have the enjoy these fights from back in the day the way it is now. It's just it's just a lot. I mean, you know, I've been from the outside looking in. I mean, I understand how how things go, and I understand the integrity of the sport. And also, you also there's money involved. I got it. I mean, I take nothing away from from none none of these fighters. But when you when you call a fighter out, I mean, the biggest the, the, the biggest thing I always love when I used to see press conferences and stuff like that. The biggest one that stood out for me, you know, I've seen a lot of them, but the one that I remember seeing the time when Roy Jones was at his press conference and Antonio Tarver went straight to the press conference. He called him out. Hey, I mean, those kind of those kind of press conferences like that, you don't see it no more. You know, it's it's kind of it's not those kind of press conferences. And I, I I can name many more, but that one kind of stood out because it excelled to to some even greater to where you know eventually that matchup happened and it met, and, and everyone knows the story from out you know from what happened from there, but. Those kind of those kind of those kind of um, those kind of things like that that we the fans are are begging for, but I'm not taking nothing away from from Gary from wanting to fight wanting those fights and from these promoters who want to make these fights happen. But you want to look out for the fighter at the end of the day, and you want to also want to make sure you want to take care of the integrity of the sport. I got it. I mean, I'm taking nothing away. But at the end of the day, I enjoy the sport. I love the sport. I mean, I want to see these guys do what has to, do what has to be done. I understand the vent, like you know venues. I mean, all those things, all this stuff coming to play. But I just want to see great fights. I want to see great matchups. I mean, and even if he stays, and even if he stays at one twenty, um, stays at one twenty six, you got Shakur, you got Shakur Stevenson right there. I mean, you got you got all those guys right. You know, those those are some great matchups. I mean, but at the, you know, I still say. I feel if he he skipped 130 and go to 135, you got Devin Haney. You know, you got you got that you got you got a great 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 champion, great fighter right there. I mean, those guys are are are, are begging for for great matchups. I mean, Ryan Garcia. You got all these guys that we can put together in that mix right there. And then you skip, then you look at the other the other champions. So, I mean, that's 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 another that's another time for me to make another video. But I'm just enjoying all. I'm just enjoying it. I'm just enjoying it when it comes to this, enjoying it, these these boxing. When I see how things heat up and and seeing how these guys are really calling these fighters out, and then once you call them out, the steam goes up and then it simmer down. And then all of a sudden, when you put a mic in it and put a mic in front of it again, I mean it goes back up again. Then it simmers down again. So much respect to Gary Russell tonight and all his all, and all the um the Russell brothers tonight from getting their victories. I mean. I mean, I enjoyed, you know, enjoyed all of it, but I mean, I still feel like um, his power, I hate to go, I'm going back to it, I feel like his power will be a key factor moving up to 135. Now, let's say he matches up with Tank. I feel like he'll give Tank a run for his money, but if Tank get a chance to really, really, really get get a hold of him and, you know, make, you know, make, make those connections, make those connected shots. While later on in those rounds, and I, you know, maybe Tank can get get some good rounds in, but I can't really call it right now. But I feel like they will both be able to have some really good standout um, chances, you know, standout rounds between the both of them. But I just feel like Gary will have to have have to have some power coming up to 135 because if you if you fight fans like for me, I like to watch the fights. Me personally, I watch fights more than once. I watch it. I watch the fight, like the night it happened, of course. I watch it with the volume down because sometimes I don't want to hear commentary. Then I watch it again, and then I watch it a third time because I want to see if I miss anything. But the thing about it is, one thing I try to look at, I want to make sure that I don't miss anything from either fighter. So I, I try to pay attention to all both fighters at the same, you know, when I'm watching the fight. But one thing, I, I like I said, I noticed, those those combinations, those 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 um fight those um those touches he was doing on King Tug, now Yumba Yah, those those kind of those kind of punches, those connections he was making, those they score points, they score points. But he was not he was not being as effective as to where now Yumba Yah was um going back and retreating. He was not retreating at all. So if you watch the fight, I didn't see him retreating that much to where he had to back off and had to reset or whatever. I saw I saw Gary Russell being as effective when he was being first, when he was being um, trying to get this combination off, when he was realized he was going to be backed into a corner. You know he's you know he spin him around. I saw all of that. So my thing is, 
those those kind of things like that are key factors when when you know as a fan looking at that I look at. So hopefully, if he's going to be 135, moving up to 135 and getting it with them big boys, he's going to have to have some power because those little those that, that's going to be a key factor for me for Gary Russell. He's going to have he's going to have the hand speed. He's going he he can box. So you know he I mean he let, let I mean let's be honest I mean. He can definitely win. I mean, I'm not gonna take nothing away from him. I'm not gonna say he don't have a chance because every you know every fighter has a chance. But I feel like when he want to be as effective, I mean, I feel like that that's gonna be a key fact. I want him to have some more. I want him to have some power so he can be able to weather weather the storm. Because if you're gonna be that type of fighter, move jumping two weight classes and want to get right in the mix with those big name guys, um, Teofimo Lopez. And Lomachenko, because Lomachenko has become a more skillful fighter since the last time they fought. And he really wants that rematch. Um, I don't know if he's going to, uh, that fight is going to, he ever, I don't even know if he ever going to get that rematch. Um, I, I would hope that he would because, you know, most fighters want to avenge their losses. So I hope that he will get that fight. But if he don't, then, you know, it, it is what it is. So it's still some good, great matchups between him, between 126, 130. And 135. Hey, he can go to 135. Jojo Diaz. Jojo Diaz. Hey, let's be honest. Jojo Diaz gave him a great fight. I mean, if you watch that fight, fight fans. If y'all watch that fight, Jojo Diaz gave him a great fight. I mean, not trying to be funny. So, and Jojo Diaz is a champion now. So, I mean, those are some good fights that he can that he can still make. So, much respect to Gary tonight. Hats off to him. Hats off, like I said, hats off to King Tug because he don't have no reason to hold his head down. You know, he got his first loss, you know. I mean, he'll, he'll be back in the mix again. But experience played a major factor for me from what I've seen. Of course, that hand speed. And him not being able to, he was waiting. I felt like he, he waited too much. King Tug waited way too much. Um, I felt like he could have pressed. He was pressing forward, but he was pressing forward. He was just waiting to see what Gary was going to do. And by the time he was trying to react, Gary wasn't there. I mean, he was. It was. It was kind of too late. So, so him to be as effective, he has to be able to press more, be more effective. And then, I mean, um, I, I think I probably saw a couple of you know up couple whatever. But I still feel like um, for Gary to be as effective, I need to see a little bit more power. I need to see. I wanted to see how King Tug was going to be able to back off once. You know, once he got hit with some with some really good power shots, and he really got hit. I mean, I, I mean, he really made some connected shots, but I still feel like um, for him to jump to jump up two weight classes. I mean, he's gonna have that weight, so that's that may be a good factor too. So I'm not taking that away. So I feel like that's gonna be gonna be a good thing for him. But I mean, I still take him factor because of his hands. So those things are one of the things I look at. You know, as a fight fan. So. With that being said, guys, I mean, I want to thank y'all guys for rocking with me. I know it's been a while since y'all seen me back, but, you know, as a full-time student and, you know, as a family man doing what I have to do, I have to take care of my priorities first. I still watch boxing. I'm still trying to be as active as I can on the boxing side of social media. Um, I'm, I'm, enjoying, I'm enjoying this journey, like I said, but I will be back posting more videos. But keep in mind, we have another big fight coming up, and I will have a video for that. So... I'm not going to say as much, but I'm pretty sure you already know it's February. So you know what time it is. So with that being said, thank you guys for rocking with me. God bless. Until the next video. Peace.